Well, I think the first point I'd make is that an, an organization embarking on Indigenous engagement should approach it as a long-term direction. It's not some flavor of the day that might be displaced by another priority in a little while out. It, it is a long-term direction. And I think there's three primary reasons an organization might engage. And the first is really values-based. It's it's recognition of a social responsibility, it's part of reconciliation, or simply put, it's just the right thing to do. I think the second primary driver is organizational performance. And that's a, a real belief that in the long term, engagement will contribute to the organization achieving its goals, whether that's by opening up another pool of talent or increasing the diversity of the workforce or whatever, but it's good for the organization. Um, Ideally, an organization really, in my view, should have both those beliefs. And if they believe in both those elements, values and organization performance, that really bodes well for long-term commitment and future success. The third reason is uh, one might call tokenism. It's, it's really to sort of check a box on some sort of affirmative action agenda or, you know, to avoid being taken to task for lack of diversity uh, and that kind of thing. And if that's really your reason for engaging the Indigenous community, it really poses uh, a lot of risks that you're not going to achieve the kind of benefits that are available. Uh, it's not real, it's not going to sustain commitment, and it's not going to achieve the kind of results you're trying to achieve. It's just a, a must-do.